okay we are going to have two applications one is server another is client on the server side we will be using socket.io npm and this is the command to install it the another package we will be using at the client it is socket.io dash client and you can see that this is the command to install it but the question arises here how we can ensure that these two packages should be used in our application how we can guarantee that if we use these two packages there would be less bug or these are the stable versions so there are ways to figure out let's try to understand that okay so we will open a website npmjs.com this is the website where uh, most of the npms you will get and we'll search our npm so now it's socket.io if i click on it and if i concentrate on the statistics the weekly downloads is pretty good the version is stable 2.3.0 the license is mit it has got some open issues but if you also observe the it was published a month ago what does it mean it means that the group is pretty active the team is pretty active what are the bugs bugs are coming or being reported they are being fixed by the team okay so let's understand how we can say that this is a stable version so if you see this uh, the version is 2.3.0 so the first part is major the another part is minor the next last part is patch you you must have uh, observed that when the angular team release uh, like angular 7 or 8 these are the major releases because uh, the first part is totally change but if i say okay 2.3.2 so that is a patch i mean some bugs has been fixed so this is semantic so given a version number major minor patch increment the major version when you make incompatible api changes minor version when you add functionality in a backwards compatible manner and the patch version when you make backwards compatible bug fixes so major is as the name suggest major minor where you do some uh, some functionality changes or something patch is a uh, bug fixes all okay in this session we are going to understand server code and to be a full stack developer it's very important that we should have the ability to write uh, the code which interacts with either database or some other data source uh, maybe a bringing json data from other different sources so why it is so important let's try to try to understand this the first thing you will have the ability to develop entire application the front end back end so that you are more valuable in the organization okay so here are few things before we start the first things we should have a http module so the very first line uh, which says const http require http it means that we are importing this module uh, into a constant same with uh, socket.io before using this we have to install it socket.io since i have already installed it so i am not going to reinstall it if you want to verify whether this particular package has been installed successfully or not then you have to look into node underscore module here it is socket.io so it has already installed into my machine so 
the next thing we need to import our socket.io model we have just installed this is a file system module and this is what i am using for populating charts so right now we can ignore it but yeah it's very important to understand this concept as well uh, and why it is needed i explain uh, sometime later on in this video in order to start a server which will emit data and listen to the client request or uh, you say client messages we need a server right so we need a host name we need a port port number so if you see this line line number 19 where it says that the server is running at this host number host name and this port number the host name is nothing but a ip right now and the port is 3000 so this will construct that url since we are using http model so this is going to be a http server the next line at line number 10 it says uh, a create server and we are storing that instance into this constant and uh, when the response will end we are displaying a message on the screen hello world so let's verify this i would say node server dot js we can say node dot server even uh, that will also work so server is our file name you can put it any name So if you look into this, it says that server running at this. Let's click on it. Hello world. So the message printed. Okay, cool. So our server is running. I'll stop it again and explain what is current value. So before jumping into the current value mechanism, uh, let's try to understand few other things, which is very important. Server must listen to a particular port, right? So here we are passing the port number and the host, which is actually IP. Server, now here what we are doing, io.listen to the server. This is the mapping between our module socket.io, which will keep on raising event and client will listen to it. The client is our Angular application here now there are default events events uh, you can imagine simple uh, click event is an event or anything you are doing so there is a event and there is a listener to it so connection is by default uh, event which is inside this module socket.io so io is our socket.io actually and here at the line number 22 what i am doing is mapping i mean i have created an instance of that server i have i'm mapping here and then this is now socket.io socket io and i'm saying as soon as any client get connected it should display a message so that we will uh, confirm okay uh, the client is connected and as soon as it got disconnected we, we are displaying the message again here the, the this parameter actually the current socket client instance remember this this is very important to understand because every uh, client will have its own instance so in this example we will we have already seen that we can connect to the server through multiple clients and every client will have its own existing uh, existence or instance rather you say here uh, I am doing a very simple uh, uh, simple functionality which is uh, emitting a value to the client the value starts with 100 and incre incremented by 20 so on the regular interval of time and the time is 5 seconds here if you see the request frequency i have put around 5000 
so this is 5000 okay let me go to the end again here so request frequency 5000 what i am doing i am just emitting another event which is data you can name it anything on data data whatever uh, you like uh, whatever meets your uh, requirement so that you will have the better understanding okay on data what the client should do right now client is not connected on this is only a server so in order to verify this here is the console log so that we can see what is the current value so let's start the server again here you see the first value is 120 so what happened 100 initiated with 100 incremented by 20 and then it got printed and this loop is continuing in every five seconds and there is also emit event uh, I, I mean another event is being emitted so that if any client connected to it will listen to it and that I have already uh, I will show you uh, into the client application all right